how many hockey moms from Alaska get a $150,000 makeover? The cash straight from the campaign fund war chest spent on a luxury wardrobe and more. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald spoke with a reporter who broke the story. Fitz? Hey, Brian, you know the political newspaper. It specializes in what else? Politics. So when one of their reporters got the somewhat mundane task of flipping through this 46-page finance filing for the FEC, well, she came across something that sparked her interest. When Jean Cummings sat down at her desk at the political newspaper for her monthly check of financial disclosure report, she was in for a surprise. I said, oh, this is different. I didn't expect this. Jean's assignment was to look at the differences in advertising spending between the Obama and McCain campaigns. So I went to the RNC reports actually looking for television advertising buys and stumbled onto Sachs, Neiman Marcus, and Bloomingdale's. The filings show that the Republican National Committee spent more than $150,000 on new clothes for Governor Sarah Palin in September at stores like Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Bloomingdale's. The clothes were bought by the Republican Party and not the campaign, so they don't appear to break the law, but they could be a slap shot at Palin's own hockey mom image. If you spend $150,000 on your clothes, the media will be all over you. Fox 5 political analyst Leonard Steinhorn says it's not the kind of story Republicans need in the campaign's home stretch. Joe Sixpack, the person she wants to represent, can't afford $150,000 on clothes. But is Sarah Palin being treated fairly? John Edwards' haircuts and Al Gore's suits also made news, but some say if Palin wasn't a woman, no one would care about her clothes. She needs to look the part. Lara Orloff is a personal stylist who's worked with Washington power brokers for 15 years. Like it or not, she says when you're running for vice president, appearances matter a lot. If she becomes vice president, she will represent the country. She has to look professional, she has to look appropriate, and she has to look good. But back at the Politico, Gene Cummings says the Republican shopping spree is fair game. With a bill that big, any politician would face questions. I'm sure if we did historic records, we'd find a tie here or a suit there, but not $150,000. Well, it turns out in these filings that some of this closing was also purchased for Palin's husband, Todd. Brian, a spokesperson for the campaign, says this clothing will go to a charitable donation after the campaign's all over.